And she was beautiful. And she was ferociously intelligent. <laughs> and I thought, this is where I tell her. She was on top, riding away, doing that shimmy only she can do. Coming in fits and sports and starts. No panting, no drooling, no leaking, no grunting, no yelping, no farting, no belching, no speaking in tongues. Happily unburdening herself in a fluid litany of profanities, covering the entire patriarchal spectrum from oppression through objectification to condescension. While I had already lost all purchase on this level and begun operating tentatively on the next one up, you know that tantric stuff? And I was about to say, I love you, I love you, I love you all together just like that. It had been two months since we'd been seeing each other and we were going at it hammering tongs in our old bed. Not the Spartan cot her mother assigned me with her don't even think of it look. It's not as if I was ever reluctant to spew that perilous incantation and the flowers fucking wandering, fucking lowly, fucking cloudy, fucking floating, fucking flowers. So I thought if I say it now, she might remember when, when she's been interviewed in her daughter, John. Where is he now and who was he anyway? And it was Christmas. I mean, Jingle Bells just unleashed those three tinsel dwarfs. They will land upright, well-dressed, house-trained and plausible on the welcoming porch of the ear and finally convince her of your undying devotion. But no.